thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all. Seven sets of clean and jerk. Fuck me stone cold. You got me stone cold. Going on team, just finished up the workout this morning. Stone cold. And then we did a little Metcon. Finished up with some gymnastics work and heading inside to get some breakfast. Getting this sunshine, man. One of my best parts of the day is waking up to the sunrise, and it's so good for you. What's up, guys? It's Kevin from Casper Fitness. I got my man Adam with me today. Missed, missed you there. Today we're gonna hit a. You know, every day I write these little mindset coaching inside the app, and I'm just gonna read today. I haven't read it yet. I'm talking about being average. The majority of people are comfortable. They are comfortable with their life and being average. They fall into society standard, and more importantly who they spend their time with. Are you spending time with the right people? Are you surrounding yourself with friends that challenge you? If you choose this path, you can expect to be faced with adversity because it's not easy. There will be people who try to pull you down. If you continue to go the extra mile and your time will come and it will be so worth it. What are you willing to go the extra mile for today? So I write these things probably like six months ago and then you know I'm, I'm testing all the workouts and all that stuff for our K squared fitness members and inclu including these mindset readings so I read them every day and you know I write them six months ago I forget and I get these again designate with each one because they hit me so hard and I think this is so true it's talking about who you spend your time with group of people that challenge you or are they just your circle of friends that you just have Hopefully your circle of friends are people that are challenging you, bettering you, wanting the best for you. And then I'm asking, what are you willing to essentially sacrifice or go the extra mile for today? And today's the first day back from vacation, having such a great time. You know, I've kind of been struggling today with like what that's going to look like. I'm looking forward to seeing all my clients, but with my workout this morning, I felt like I was... I feel like I was kind of going through the motions and I wasn't fired up and like getting after it. I was thinking I was still on vacation, which was totally probably normal. Thankfully, all the guys that were in the gym were like, let's freaking go. It's been a week. Let's get after it, all that. So I, they kind of lifted me up. Not that I was down, but I wasn't really charged up and ready to freaking get after it, you know? So there was a when we got to the conditioning piece, Rob looked at me and he was like, all right, are we doing this or what? You know, I was kind of just standing there. I was like, ah, you know, I was doing the poor me's. So finished the workout. Those guys lifted me up and now I got to put some thought into what I'm going the extra mile for today. Think on that yourself too. What are you willing to do? And what are you willing to go the extra mile for? <laughs> Making my smoothie, smoothie right after the workout. Protein powder, almond protein, vitamin D. I put all the things in the smoothie. All my fruit. Oats, seeds, cacao powder. Understand that we get one chance, one chance. All right, guys, heading into work. Got my morning breakfast in. Got my smoothie. Downtown Nashville to go get some training in. I'll show you this this place I'm going to. It's pretty sweet. I'm heading off to train the rest of the crew. Years ago, and from actually for many years, probably 10 years, 
I trained clients at six in the morning and would have to work all day long and I wouldn't get to work out till about three o'clock. Took 10 years to get to where I'm at today to be able to have that hour, hour and a half to myself in the morning and it makes such a difference for me to be able to empower and lift up others because there's just something special about waking up and getting after it right away. Good morning, started off right. Have your plan, execute your plan, and I'm heading downtown Nashville to go train the Petersons, and I'm looking forward to seeing my clients after traveling last week. to be able to work with people that you're training and educating them. But these people that I am blessed to work with pour into me. These guys are awesome. They give me energy, they give me life. They're hilarious, they're so generous. So thankful for the clients that I have. COVID first hit, so I was working at Lifetime and the gym, the gyms are closed. So like a lot of trainers, including myself, we had to adapt, of course. Comfortable with me coming to their house and I was able to train them and we were able to still support our business and to keep growing and support our lives and eat <laughs> because uh, without our clients we couldn't do any of the things that we that I enjoy doing on a daily basis so it's a blessing to be able to work with people that care about you as well so thankful for the Petersons and this their their new condo I'm so happy for them there's my favorite person in the universe there she is what are you gonna get? I don't know. I'll probably <laughs> get something from here. Huh? <laughs> I'm so awkward. <laughs> I'm gonna get this chicken. Whole Foods is the place. Getting some chicken and veggies. I know that's what you want. Yeah. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. Hi, right, Katie. What is a fun fact about Katie Andres? Fun fact. I'm allergic to gluten. She's allergic to gluten, so you can eat what? Nothing. Basically? Mm -hmm. There's a person walking by, so she's probably like, please know, stop now. Very uncomfortable. Do you have any other special talents? I can pogo stick really well. Can you do it with no hands? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Can you do a backflip? No. No. I make you a shirt about pogo sticking when we first got together. <laughs> you did. I still have it. Can you wear it for the people? I'll try. Squeeze into it. So much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that might look a little different being eight months pregnant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Katie just told me that her friend works at this place called Fabrique and the door is open. So I'm going to be cat calling from the. Um... <laughs> Caitlin! <laughs> Stop! Caitlin, there she is! She heard us! You heard the cat call! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you look so cute! <laughs> that was freaking awesome. What are we doing right now? Giving my old baby a nice uh, oil change. Taking care of my old lady. How how late were you to get this oil change? How many miles over? Um, well, you know, see, I used a full synthetic. So that's supposed to be good for a couple thousand, right? But I think your sticker was 10,000 over. No, no, I think no, no. it was. It was 2,000 over on the sticker. No. Yes, it was. 10,000, the thing would be bone dry. Okay. <laughs> okay the push-up transition is a, it's a muscle-up drill. So you just get into the bottom of your push-up and then rock here. Smooth time. It's time of the day. You having fun? <laughs> yeah, you know, basketball is my outlet. Anytime you see me picking up a basketball, it always means something's going on. And, uh, Katie and I just went to our doctor's appointment. Found out we're having our baby in 
two and a half weeks. This basketball helps me kind of check out a little bit and to get my thoughts going. Growing up playing basketball, it's always what helped me out. So it's only natural to find the ball in my hand, but it's kind of exciting too because we're having our baby literally in two and a half weeks, which is a little bit crazy. So I was thinking it'd be like May 5th or something like that. And now it's gonna be like April 7th. So drastic timing, but- Well, we don't have, gonna... a okay, we'll have a specific day, yeah. but that's- Look who's here. My mom. This is for you, so I have- Oh, I'm getting further. No! This is the money shot. What's going on team? Just wrapped up today. Got done watching some Mr. Beast on YouTube. That guy's videos are absolutely insane to watch. Fun day for me. I uh, had a good training day, good workout. First day back from vacation. My little Kilo puppy. Love that dog. And uh, Katie and I are now heading to church, church small group. Small group have been one of the most powerful things that I have been exposed to. I grew up in a very large church my entire life, never even heard of a small group. And since then, joining Church of the City here in Nashville, uh, tried a couple of small groups and was unsuccessful. And now we have a tight group of men and women that are strong in faith we're all somewhat similar in age there's lots of babies in the group and god is good and i'm so grateful for the friends that surround us not only in the small group but in our life i'm so grateful i feel like when i was in my 20s i moved all around the country i think i lived in like six different states and i um i, I wasn't able to get the friendships that i wanted because i was living somewhere for six months and then somewhere else for three months and I just never got rooted. I wasn't even thinking back to it now. I wasn't even plugged into a church. I had drifted away and it's so nice to call a place home now to have a good set of friends, to have a good strong small group and it's important. Be rooted and that's going to wrap up today's vlog. Fun first day back from vacation and I'll see you guys in the next one. Help us spread the word with the Case Word Fitness. Be sure to tag us in your workout videos. Comment down below. Subscribe to this channel. We put out content all the time to help you bring out the best version of yourself. And lots of puppy content coming your way. See you in the next one. Yay!